Hey, suckers. How y'all doing? What's going on, everybody? What's going on? So, thought I'd come and chit-chat with y'all. I have a few, um, uh-oh, um, things I needed to do tonight. And I've been, I was laying in the bed. Y'all know we've been getting rain, excessive rain. And, um, I don't mind, child, let it rain. Is my dress on backwards? No, it's on right. But, um, it's okay. But just know that my thoughts and prayers are with, yes, I'm wrinkled. Thoughts and prayers are with everybody that's in the path of this hurricane. Um, I, my hope is that if you are able to leave, that you actually do so. Um, if, you know, if you can. Um, I know that sometimes, you know, life don't allow for you to do some things. But like us, we haven't always been able to leave. But by God's grace and mercy, um, we were able to, because of the job my husband has, um, we were able to, you know, um, stay in a hotel a few times. And then there's been some times we just, you know, we were able, stayed home. And yeah, so, um, yeah, so y'all just continue to stay prayerful and do whatever you can do. And um, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Thank you, Lord. But anyway, so today was another eventful day with homeschooling, online schooling, whatever you want to call the schooling, okay? Um, I think the girls actually, um, it was... Um, it was Jalen first, whose teachers weren't adding her to the groups. Now it's Mia. So, but they, you know, it's getting better as time goes on, which, you know, sometimes the kinks have to be worked out. So they're trying to get used to it and trying to get used to waking up at, um, sometimes at 530 in the morning and getting themselves ready. Because, you know, they have to be on the screen, on the clock by a certain time. And so, I've been trying not to wake them up that early. But, you know, enough to get yourself up, cleaned up. Um, and I know that early in the morning, sometimes you don't have an appetite. But get you something, at least drink some juice or um, a smoothie or eat a banana or apple, something. Get some food in your body. Get all your, your materials lined up and... Make sure the internet is working because um, when it starts to rain here, child, our internet act a fool. It do act like it just is not going to be stable ever. So, um, thank you, Lord, that they be able to get on most of the times before it really start. And by the time it start, it's like sometimes, some days like around 11, so they're at at lunch or um like Corey some days around that time he's on a break in between classes like the teacher will say well we'll meet back up at a certain time or whatnot so um yeah i'm getting ready to turn on my hallmark channel on my little tv i got here and um i got some stuff i need to put up me why don't you wait till I get through? Because y'all going to be... Don't mess with this stuff right here. Just go ahead and do that. They get ready to clean up. I thought I was up by myself. So I could do what I had to do. <clears throat> but anyway. 
So I need to put up some stuff. I need to clean off my desk. Here, come get this for me. <clears throat> No, uh -uh, don't come with that because you've been nice. You be fortnight and back. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, you you would love to be asleep. Yeah, yes. I'm tired lately. I've been waking up at six. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's ready to go to sleep. But some nights when she don't have to clean up, you hear her hollering all through the house. I don't yes, you do. Really? What? Are you serious? <laughs> Bruh. Mom. Okay. Mom. Don't mm -hmm. expose me like yeah, that. Yeah, you expose yourself loud self. <laughs> but um so I got some stuff um y'all. So I don't know if it was last year. I believe it was last year. Oh, uh, I was at Target. And you know, they're Mrs. Meyer's products. So the lemon verbena is my favorite scent. I've tried the, is it sage? Some of the other ones I just couldn't do. I was like, mm -mm, can't do that. Um, how does, I do not watch Golden Girls. I don't, I do get off of that. Um, let's go on down to find something else. Um, so anyway, I was looking at their, um, you know, looking for this scent. And then on a end cap, they had another scent. So I grabbed it and I opened it and I smelled it, child. Apple cider, right? So I bought some and then couldn't find it. So a friend of mine had found it on Target because back then I wasn't shopping on Target. Y'all know I wasn't a Target girl. So um, I went, she sent me some. Who it lasted me a good while. I can't tell you how many months, but I had seven bottles. And so, um, you know, it's not something that they sell year round. So here I am the other day. Um, I've been waiting and checking Grove Collaborative to see if they have it. And I've even checked Amazon and they actually didn't have it, you know. So I was like, okay. So the other day, I started searching for it again. And it said this item couldn't be found on Target because I, I had a email from Target about, you know, that product. But it said it couldn't be found. So two days later, I went in Target. Galen said he wanted some hot chips. So when I left the post office, I went to Target to grab him some chips. So I said, let me peek down the aisle and see. Girl, tell me why. They had one left on the shelf. One. So I found one of the workers. I was like, can you please tell me if you might have any more of this in stock at all? And so he scanned it and he said it was showing that they didn't have any on the shelf or in the bag. I said, okay. So I went, came home, went online, and it was saying that, you know, um, on Grove Collab, they still didn't have it. So I said, let me go to Target. Went to Target.com, child. Not that night, the next night. Went to Target.com. Why was it updated? Why did they have now on my phone? It said that they had um, still one. I said, I'm not going back on my phone again. Let me get off of it. Let me go on the computer. So I sat here on my computer and I pulled up Target.com and I typed in this in. Oh my goodness, because I had it saved. Oh my goodness, they had it. I said, Okay, now is it still gonna only let me get one? I clicked at the baby. That thing was. Zzz, zzz. I said yes. So I was nervous. I said okay. Now see what I did, and it had me nervous. Why was I nervous, Reese? Why are you nervous? Because I tried to place an order for some stuff on um, Walmart the other day. Paid for it and everything. Got my confirmation email to pick it up. You know, 
I'm trying to not go out at all to pick up the stuff that we needed. And a couple of hours later, tell me why they canceled my order. They can take your money, ASAP, but don't get back to you a couple of days later. So cancel my order. So I was nervous about placing this order because I'm like, please don't say that it's there and then y'all send me an email saying it's gone. Baby, it let me get them. So I ordered 10. They $3.99. So I ordered 10. Now, let me tell you the good thing about it. So this is what I've been doing. You know, I go in Target. And one reason I started shopping at Target is because they give you those gift cards back. Now, I know you got to spend money to get that little $5, $10, $20 back. But it had got to be like some of the things that I wanted to get, like the laundry sanitizer, um, this big OxyClean liquid that I like. That's the place I had been able to find it. You can find it here and there in Walmart. But it was like I could always go to Target and it was there. So that's what I kept going back to get. And now that we can find the hot chips, um, and target so we go there now that we've fallen in love with their bedding we go there and get that as well so um and now that um they have my non-dairy cheese that i love i get that from there so i'm a target shopper so um i got 10 of these now what i do when i order like my cleaning supplies and stuff like that it'll tell you okay if you order say fifty dollars worth of this stuff you get a twenty dollar gift card back or a five dollar or ten dollar gift card back so i have been getting e-gift cards and i've been getting actual gift cards but the ones and i will scan them on my phone so that when i'm in the store i can actually use them but a couple of times i didn't know how to do it and the cashier was like well you have to do it before i ring up everything child so i've been had these cards just sitting on my phone so um some of them i could use and some of them so i had ten dollars that i could use on line um or just use period either way so it took money off of my total so I know all my Target shoppers out there, y'all already know this stuff. Y'all know I'm brand new, okay? So that was a plus as well. And then when I went in the store the other day um, to get the chips and stuff for Galen, and I got this one, and I can't remember what it all is I got, but yeah, I got some stuff. And um, I had, I think, another $10.00 that I could use in store only. So that took money off, which, um, and then in the Target Circle, they have little coupons, little deals that you clip. So with that and the $10, all I ended up paying was like barely $30 for all the stuff that I got the other day. And so my order should be here Friday. I keep checking my email because it, it gave me my confirmation. It sent me that it had shipped. Uh, this morning so that was good so yeah i'm excited about that i can't i haven't even cracked this open yet because i can i'm gonna have to wait till i get my other ones before i crack this one open because i want to make sure i have them in my hand i love the way this smells Ooh. oh y'all it smells like it's cinnamon it smells like christmas y'all like fall like thanksgiving Got to be more careful. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm not going to decorate for fall, but baby, I'm so ready to put my Christmas tree up. Y'all think I'm playing. So today, I had um, an order for something. And um, I, I asked it and I said, baby, I can't find these. I've been trying to order them online. What I do is, like, if I get something from Hobby Lobby, I save a container so that I can go on and put in the SKU number and, you know, order it that way so I don't have to keep going back and forth to the store. But this one particular package, I threw it away. And I couldn't find it by name. So I kept going under the name of these types of um, items and couldn't find it. So Galen took me this morning. He stayed in the car. And I went in, and they had three on the shelf. And so 
while I was looking, I knew what I needed to look for for an order. But as I was looking, I spotted some other things that I could get. So um, I got the beads. I needed some more gold and what is this? Gold and silver and like a charcoal gray. So I got three of those, which is that's all they had. So now that when I go to Hobby Lobby, what I did was I came home and went online and put in a number and it pulled it up. It didn't come up under the name that's on the package. What's I don't understand that. But anyway, so I added one to my cart because it'll stay there until I take it out. That way I won't have to search for it anymore. And I found these today. They were on clearance. Some charms. Um, I got that one. Okay. I got this one. This one was $2.99 and this one was $2.24. Um, I got this one was $2.49. $2.49. This one is $2.99. I think they're about the same color, but they're a little different shape. Yeah, one is a little more oval. Almost, this one is a little bit darker. But it's not quite as dark as that one behind it. Okay. Um, I got this one. I needed some more jump rings. Okay, oh, I made a mess. I done popped the, the thing off of these. Um... Uh, I picked up some head pins and they had these charms and they only had two of these and I thought they were so cute and they were $2.99 now some of this stuff you know every week they have something on sale but um, some things were like 40% off sometimes they'll have stuff 50% off now it didn't tell me that these were on sale so I just got them. Well, no, they were. They were on sale. And no, they weren't on sale. They $2.99 here. Now, when I got home, I said, well, let me see. Can I find some more? Put the number in, which is this number right up here at the top. Tell me why they cost more online than they do right here. It don't say, th it say $3.49 online and it's $2.99 right here. Didn't understand that. But I saved it to my cart so that when they do have a sale, yeah, it'll show me and it'll, my cart will update. And I found this piece for $1.49. And I'm going to save my favorite for last. This one was $2.49. And I got some plans for these. Yeah, for that. Um, and this one was 50% off and I got two of these is it turned around right yeah so I got two of these and um, this little camera and they only had one of these left I got to clean my nails up I just ooh, and it's peeling off Y'all got this matte nail polish, but it is texture. Like it's got sand in it or something. I don't know what's going on. But then, this was my favorite, y'all. Ooh. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I look, looked it up online. And, um. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And they actually on sale online. Look at that. Look at the back of that. Will you? Child, I thought about it with this. But it's a little different because the green on the face of the camera right here is a little different. But I thought about it. Look at that. If I made earrings or made it a charm to hang off of it. I thought that was so cute. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Oh. So, yeah. Yeah. 
I love that. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And then I found these. And I got all three that they had on the shelf. And these were $4.99. Now, the problem is, if I, if Hobby Lobby wasn't so far away from me, I would go back. Because they charged me full price for these. They weren't on sale. They didn't give it to me at the sale price. But baby, when I went online, it says that they're supposed to be 50% off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Because I'm definitely not going back in there right now. Mm-mm. And then I got this earring stand because I've been playing around with earrings, trying to make them. Y'all know I don't know about all this, but I got this one. Y'all see that? And that's the way the bead is made. There's nothing on it. Some of them are like that, but that's the top of it. So they stick on. like this so that um, I haven't finished this one I gotta finish that one and then I got the black one I don't have backs on these I left them in the little bag. That one. And this one. I sold the black um, bejeweled ones. That one. And then I got these flowers. I don't know. That one. So I needed a little earring stand. Even if I, you know, just create them for myself and don't do nothing else with it. But it was $3.99. I don't know if this was on sale or not, but that was the regular price, $3.99. So I got that. And um, I ordered some stuff. And, you know, sometimes it, it takes a long time for it to come in. So I got this. And I thought this was cute. This is a um, an essential oil diffuser. So I can use this as a charm on a bracelet or a necklace. And it has these little felt pieces. You put it inside the locket. Let me see which way you open it. You put it inside the locket. And you add your essential oils to it. And it perfumes while it's either on your arm or around your neck. And you get these little extra little pieces with it. So I thought that was cute. Got that. Um, come here. Uh, where you at? I got these. I just popped the, um, the thing off of them because I wanted to see exactly what all is in here. I got these, some more of these. Oh, these, where is it? Let me get that. I got another one of these. I got these little bees here. Got some more of the butterflies, which I about gave out all my other butterflies. Um, and I ordered some and these right here are just little charms, and I was trying to see exactly what's in them. I, you know, y'all, I'm a little strange and unusual. I don't like a lot of stuff when it's got all them eyes on them and all kind of little different little designs and stuff. I don't know what it means. I would throw them away. Mm -mm. 
so these here just has little different things in them crowns um little anchors uh stuff like that little small stuff and um, this one just has little charms that say believe faith love all of that and these just has little animals seahorses cats and the one on the back just has little heart shapes so i thought i would get that and see what's in it and how i can use that and then i ordered these from etsy because i had a request for a zebra and it took me a week and a half to get them and there's only a few in the pack and so i got some little small zebras this as big as they come that i could find um that would not take me getting them at the end of october And there's another one. I think they all stand up the same way. So I got five of them. And I don't remember how much they were. They might, I know they were under $20, which to me was like, okay, that's expensive. Well, I think it was like $16.99 or something like that, plus shipping. So I got that. And then I got some more elephants. So I got big big ones small ones medium ones so i got three packs of those because i love the elephants so got those um and then i have um some letters letter charms I'm trying to keep everything together so I don't have it because my desk right now is just out of sorts. I am not the organized person like that. It don't stay. Like, I can organize it, but then when I start messing around, it gets all beat, messed up. Like, mm-mm. So, my little wall here is kind of clear. It's kind of clear. Um, let's see, I got a whole lot of these. I'm gonna get some of them. I, I, I didn't put them in there right, but I dyed my hair, y'all, and uh, I needed it. Um, so while I was at Hobby Lobby getting the beads and those charms, we started walking. Galen, he eventually came in. Um, we were only in there. I was only in there about maybe 10, 15 minutes at that because I knew exactly where to go. But as we were walking to the front, um, we went the other way. And child... Because they had, I saw they had all the fall items out. They had, um, what is that? That's a glare. Let me see. Did it go away? Yeah, it did. They had the fall items out. Thanksgiving. They had Christmas. And so we were walking. And I'm just looking. Because they had this painting of a, a black Santa. He looked so, so cute, y'all. It was a very nice picture. He had this nice smile. The beard and everything looked so real. His color was, was natural. He wasn't too charcoal black. You know how they do him sometimes. But he looked very, it was a very nice picture. And I was thinking, where could I put that? Y'all, I can't put nothing else in here. I ain't gonna lie to you. But walked on past it and Gail said, oh, wow. And I'm like, well, baby, what's the matter? What happened? He said, baby, look. They got the Christmas stuff up. He said, now see, that's what we need right there. Some Christmas cheer. I said, uh-huh, but you don't want me to put my Christmas lights up. Mm -hmm. So he starts walking that way. I start walking that way. And um, I saw some things that I like. And they had a Santa Claus. So I don't know. I think it was a tree top. I don't know. I didn't even pick him up because I didn't want to be bothering with stuff. He had all kind of little stuff on his shoulder. And, you know, I was like, mm, mm You know, you break it, you take it. Okay. 
Um, so I was like, okay, I'm not ready for all of that yet. Even though I'm ready for it, not ready for it. Cause I don't really, I hadn't really decided on the color, this, that, and the other. I got some things I want to do in the living room. I keep saying I wasn't going to do it, but now I'm saying I am going to do it, you know, being indecisive. So he was like, we started talking about some things that we saw. He was like, well, if you like it, you need to go ahead and get it because now it's 40% off. And, you know, the clothes they get to the holidays, you may come back and they may be gone. And I'm like, okay. So I grabbed one. They be like, and you get 50 in here for $19.99, but they were 40% off. So you get 50 and I got that one. And so I decided to, one color I was thinking about, I didn't see anything in that color, so I didn't get it. But this one is a bluish color. Can y'all see that? So I got two of these. And I need them shatterproof for Gandhi Mine. Oh gosh, I can see him now. Yeah, taking everything off the TV. Off the Lord, off the TV. So I got that over here in the corner. And um, so I left that. Um, I got stuff that I ordered um for myself. You know. You know how you order stuff and it take a, a while to come in. But I got stuff I need to put up. Oh, I was I was laying in the bed and I wasn't sleeping, y'all. I was just laying there. You know how you get restless laying there? So I said, let me get up. I got to get this stuff put up and I need to clean off my desk. And I sat here last night and I worked on, um, just was messing with color. And I know this is not a favorite color of people, you know, when I do this stuff. So. You know, I like to play with color, you know, even if it's just for myself. So I haven't put a charm on it, but that's that. And they look better on. So even, you know, I give myself, then I played with a charm, it's too big. So I'm gonna go ahead, I keep saying I'm gonna take it off. I mean, take it off now while I'm thinking about it. But I'm going to use this for a pair of earrings for myself that I'm thinking about. Um, where the opening at? I know y'all like, why don't you put your glasses on? That's too much light, right? Mm. So I was fiddling with that. And I went to the post office today and mailed off nine packages nine packages and a box yeah so somebody got some stuff coming okay we took that off but yeah I'm gonna close it up Ooh, so I don't lose my little ring and it can come loose it's got a little slot you just slide it in take the bead off but they're made to be earrings so I take if I take the jump ring off make me some earrings so it look better as earrings than they do a charm so I was really looking for something to add on to this which I thought about the green um that's why I went and got another one because I don't like to have one of something because then I get another idea but even if I just keep it for myself, what I did with it. I actually, when I make bracelets and they don't sell, I wear them. Just to show them my name what it is. I wear them out. I was went, I went to get something to eat and a lady was interested. So, hey, that was a positive thing there. And that green and gold. with it this is this is my birthstone yeah so that's probably why i'm so drawn to these greens and um there was a lady i did a set for and she was just all about green and her birth month is the same month as mine so i think that's why i was inspired to keep fooling with green 
because she had just ordered one and I sent hers off. Um, and then I did another one. So I have two sets, which could be easily be a six piece. And y'all, they look good on, let me see. I don't even know if I um, tied them off yet. Look at that. Ooh, have mercy. Mm. And I like to make, look at that. Some of them are a little bigger than the other, especially if they have the big, um, the big balls or beads on them. I can even switch it around. Come on. There we go. Oh, girl. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. I got two, three more strands. I got to order some more of the green um, beads. I got a few right here that I, um, I'm going to put that up because... And I'm gonna sterilize these. I steam, I steam them. When I like, if I try them on to see if how how low it's hanging. So I did those. All the other ones that I did, some I had people to inbox me, and I sent those out. So, and this one I did the other day. Um, let's see. She's light blue, y'all. She's all shades of blue. She's a mood, honey. She's a mood. Yes, her ears. Yes, her ears. She's a mood. Yes, her ears. She's a mood. Look at that. Girl. Tell me. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. I love that. So, it was a lady um, wanted that. And, um, well, she had me to make something for her. And the colors that she chose inspired me to do this. So, I'm like, okay, with that. Um, and then, this was the other one that I was fooling with. Y'all know, I, I don't know why I get stuck with blue. Blues and blacks and silvers. Like, it's like bringing all of these colors together. See that? Mm, mm, mm. My word. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then this one, uh oh, I'll pick that up in a minute. This one has a little ball on it. This one has an elephant. And this one has the little, so this one is a three piece. If it pop, y'all, I just put it back. I don't glue them until somebody purchases it. So I don't have to worry about cutting it and all of that. I could just pull the string in. It comes right out. But I think I might change the elephant out. Make it a little bit bigger. Since the bees on are a lot larger. Because I want it to hang right. There we go. Ooh. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And I still, somebody got me holding a piece. I'm going to make another one of these for myself. Look at that, y'all. Ooh. I love that. I might change the charm out. It's supposed to be like, you know. Aladdin. See, my wrist not real big, but I 
love that. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So I still got them hanging up here. I sold pretty much everything, actually. And then this was a set that I started but had not finished. But I actually finished. I don't know if I'm going to put a charm on it or not. But I love it. Sometimes I feel like I'm I'm just making these things for my <laughs> for myself. Oh my gosh. And I could be. Shoot. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, look at that. And then it has the um what they call them? Chakra beads. These little black beads like this with the little holes in it. Um if you get a bracelet and you have these, and I'm going to stop. Um, I got to create the information cards for when I do make them. Um, you can add essential oils to these beads. Mm -hmm. The little black ones with the holes in them. And then I have... Um, my order hasn't come in yet for the other ones in different colors like this. But yeah. So that'll help you relax. You put just some essential oils in there and then same color family in a way i wear all these together if the show is my name is teresa i will wear them all together just like that that's it that's all mm -hmm. i think i'm gonna take some of the links out of this one I think I'm gonna take some of the links out of that one so it won't hang so low. But I made them a little loose so that if I put a charm on it, it won't pull the string so much. So that's probably, um, if I put a charm on it, then it'll be okay. But other than that, we'll see. So I did straighten up a little bit up here. Um, I gotta put away my beads that I have down here from making stuff. Um, let's hang this back up. Um, I'm going to start. I want to do something. I don't know. I'm going to put this in my light box. Oh, and I found these for $1.49. These are little charms um, or spacers. Let me see. They got the title covered up. But they're nickel free, regular price $5.99. They were $1.49. What is it saying? I don't know. But they're little owls. And I thought they were so cute. Yeah, little spacer beads. Mm hmm. 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 I sat here, when I bought that picture from um, Family Dollar, what was it, a week ago or something like that, and I just keep stuff, you know, in the closet or whatever till I'm ready to use it, and um, the little gems that I bought, um, Janae's been doing her little, these little glue-on gems, um, and they come with these little sticks. So you touch it with that and it picks it up. I don't know what they call. They're in another language. But, so I had some of those. And I need to get all of this cleaned up. Um, I'm going to put some of these earrings. I'm just going to put them in a, um, until I'm through with them. Put them in the drawer. And all my little charms that kind of situation i get all of it put up and then my little i think i'm gonna take these apart i might keep this you know i'm gonna leave them up here for a while it ain't hurting nothing i might have another sale i don't know what i price it at i asked the lord to guide me he'll speak to me and tell me what to do in the midst of it all Turn on the camera. Be a blessing because I am a blessing. Right? There you go. 
we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. So move some of my little stuff. This goes to my tripod. Okay, so I got some stuff to put up. Oh, my word. Why are you... I laid in that bed and was not sleeping. Now that I'm up and getting ready to do something, now I'm starting to feel sleepy. Isn't that crazy? Just awful. But I got some stuff down here that I got from the stove. Most of it has been put up because the kids, when they get ready to clean up, they go ahead and, and put the stuff up. But I'm going to share with y'all what I got. I don't know which way to put you. Oh, y'all hear my back popping. Ain't that awful? Let me see. Put the kickstand on this thing. Okay. There we go. Put the kickstand on this thing. So, in Costco, I found these socks. I think they were $4 and some change. $4.97. They're so soft. And then they had, this one is a puppy and a mouse. And this one is a cat and a rabbit. I had three packs. Guess which one of my girls down below grabbed one. Guess. Just guess. Now I got um, one of these um, that I am sending out tomorrow to somebody. So, yeah. So, got these. Because I like, you know, y'all know, I, I walk outside barefoot. I know y'all like, that's dirty, that's nasty, child. Look, when you lived in the South, child, we used to be outside without no shoes on, playing in the grass, and I still feel like that. But now that we don't have very much carpet in the house, my feet get cold. I don't know why. Well, you know what? The older I get, y'all, stuff is changing. Like, now I get cold easy. But when I was when I was younger, I didn't get cold easy like that, but I do now. So things are changing. So I had three of those. I got two uh, things of bread. We're gonna put these up. Y'all already know which one mine. Yeah. Galen and the kids like the um, regular butter bread. Um, I had some of this before, but it was a different looking package. But today, um, they had this um, salmon. I love to put this on my salmon. Oh, I used to call it salmon. I'm, I'm used to saying salmon now. Child, fish. Put it on all kind of fish. Oh, that smells so good. Woo! And let's see what's in it. Dill weed, black pepper, black pepper, <laughs> parsley, oregano, thyme, dehydrated onion, garlic. What is that? Demira something, sugar. Um, acidity regulator, which is citric acid, and natural flavor. Chaka be panther piss. We wouldn't know. We wouldn't know. Hold on, I'm gonna cover up the camera real quick. Go ahead. <laughs> um, when they say natural flavors, child, we don't know what it is. Like I said, it could be panther piss, giraffe toenails. Don't nobody know. Um, they had this uh, five pack of toothpaste for $9.99 and it was regular price $15.99 so I grabbed that I'm going to grab um, when I get my coins back up I forgot to look and see how long they were going to be on sale um, but y'all pray for pray for my mama please well it's not her health but um, she was having problems with her AC and so um, we were trying to help her get the AC fixed. Well, when the man came out to fix it, I believe he did something. 
he didn't know what he was doing. So now the system don't work at all. And it's hot. And in her den, she has a window unit, but it's downstairs. She hasn't been downstairs in 20 years. She can't get down there because she's in a wheelchair. So we had purchased her a fan a while back. So it kind of was like we had we we wasted money paying to get the AC fixed. He breaks it, hasn't fixed it yet. So she said they came yesterday. She thinking that they were gonna fix it yesterday. Evidently they didn't write all the the um the number of the unit, whether it's the what is it? I don't want to say VIN number, product number, serial number. They didn't write it all down. Who the, Now, it's been about two and a half, almost three weeks since this happened, okay? Now, you're just not knowing you didn't write all the number down, okay? So, it's not going to be until, like, the first week in September. They're trying to find the part. So, she's over there in hot. So... And then on top of that, um, her ceiling fan went out. So while I was asleep today, um, she had called and talked to Galen and told him that her ceiling fan was out. So we're going to get her a ceiling fan. Um, she says she already got somebody that's going to put it up. Um, the ones that I seen on Amazon, she won't get it until Friday. So I said, tomorrow I'm going to go look. I looked online and it's not very many in stock that it says I can pick it up today. Um, so I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go in because they say online, it don't update like it should, like it used to. So I'm gonna go in and look and see if I can find one tomorrow and I'm just gonna get it. That way um, she'll have it. And uh, see about getting her an AC unit for her living room just just because to put in the window because that's still a long time because when I talked to her today she didn't sound good and I was like what's the matter with you she said I'm just miserable over here in this heat and so um I said well mama you know when are they gonna fix it when when are they saying she said well they came but evidently they they just giving them the run around because they got a service plan and I guess with the warranty or whatever, they got to find the part. And if they can't find the part by the first week of September, they're going to have to give them a whole new unit. So, yeah. And um, I know somebody probably saying, well, why you won't bring her over here? Because she can't get in the bathrooms here. She can't even get in the beds here at all. She's in a wheelchair. Our um, doorways to our bathroom is not wide enough. Um, and we have nothing that she can sleep on. How will she get in the bed? She can't even get... She used to get in... She's got a different chair. She can't even get in that bathroom. I mean, the bedroom at the end of the hallway because of the way the wheels are made on the chair. So, And then with them coming and going, don't want to take a chance on her catching nothing, you know. And, um, so yeah, that was she going through. And, um, so I told her to let me know. She had to call around to see about getting the right AC unit that has the right plug because you can't just get one because the plug has to be right to fit the so the electrical socket. And yes, you can buy adapters, but, um, it's all a matter of finding one. So you got to get the AC unit first. Got to make sure it's got the right plug. And if it doesn't, then you got to find the adapter. So she going to let me know. She was supposed to let me know something this evening, but I haven't heard from her. So evidently they didn't get back to her about the AC unit. The window AC unit. Because you could get a small one. Um, like a little 5,000 BTU AC unit. That way, when she's in the front of the house, she'll be real cool, you know? Because um, that's where she's at most of the time. Unless she can take it and put it in her her room window, 
and um that way she can keep her door open and the, the back two bedrooms can possibly get some cool air you know so we're gonna put a ceiling fan in there which will help circulate because her ceiling fan went out which will help circulate the cool air you know and then in the front of the house if it was me okay my mom won't let me do the things that i want to do but my what i would like to do is put a ceiling fan in the kitchen that has a light kit on it i would like to remove the chandelier and put a ceiling fan there with a light kit on it reason being um when they have company that part of the house is the in and out everybody's in and out in and out in and out and you want to be able to have, even though they have central heat and air, when you got a lot of folks in a space, it can get hot, even though you have air. It don't get hot, passing out hot, but you know, you can feel the air, but then you really don't feel it. Um, so that will help to circulate the air. And if you flip the switch, it'll help take the, the heat out as well. So that's what I would like to do. Last time I talked to her about painting her kitchen, she called her attitude, y'all. <laughs> Asked her, when you gonna let me paint? When you gonna let me paint your kitchen? Ah, nah, nah, nah. Go on, just do whatever you wanna do. Do it. So I, I don't, I don't ask no questions. <laughs> I leave it alone. You know, I I tried to. I wanted to turn her room around for her so she'll have more space and even put up some shelves or or something like that to where all of her necessity she can re even when she's in her chair if she gets a shelf that's at least four high she can put some things that's normally on the floor up that way she can reach it i can put them in little baskets little bins whatever uh-uh she want everything the way she want it she got a tv tray that's in it child i'm gonna leave that alone but anyway so yeah so also so that's where she's at so that's one of the things that's been going on um Zaria has her surgery in the morning, and we can't go. So Ashley's the only one who can go. So she's going to bring AJ here very, very early in the morning. And um, we're going to be prayerful. Yes, Lord, we thank you in advance for keeping them safe and her having a successful surgery. And I thank you, Lord, that her hearing will be a whole lot better. That way she can start to pronounce her words correctly, and she won't talk so loud. You know, thank you, Lord. So, uh, praying, we know the doctor is already there, the chief physician. And so, we thank you, Lord. Um, so, other stuff that I found, and I found these in, where was I at? Walmart, I believe. Yeah, because Target didn't have them. Walmart. And so, I got some microband, 24-hour, multi-purpose cleaner got this one which i had two okay so i gave ashley one of this one and then i got the bathroom cleaner so i so she's got a multi-purpose and a bathroom cleaner so i found those two um and then i got two of the clorox bathroom cleaners i don't know if i i thought i had more than two of these but i have some on the shelf but i thought i picked up Maybe I gave them to her. I don't know. Unless one. No, I think one is in my bathroom. No, that can't be because I just got it. I don't know. She might have got them while I was asleep. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, But I, I picked up some um, dish detergent. So I got this. Y'all know I don't usually buy this one, but I got it just for stash. And then I got the, the orange one, which is the... the um, the orange scent, which um, they've opened it and put it on the sink. And then I had four of these, which I gave her one. And um, she got one of the green apples because I had two of those. So she's got a green apple and, or was it the orange? Which one did she get? The orange because she didn't like the green apple scent yeah 
so she got another orange that i got child i don't know i don't know she got i got some stuff somewhere else and um i got some trash bags now see we have been getting uh, the ones from sam's but we got these from costco today because we didn't go to sam's so we got these um guess what i found yes in Costco today, y'all, and they only letting you get one. So what happened was, um, they had the Kirkland brand antibacterial wipes in a buck in a box, and you got like three hundred and twenty. But they came in the like the little diaper wipe package, or you get this. The Kirkland brand was nine 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 ninety nine, and this one was fourteen ninety nine, and. Um, I know I said, okay, I need one and Ashley needs one. I couldn't get three. So I'm going to go back another day this week and see if I can, if they have some more, um, so what happened was I have a Costco card, but Galen doesn't. So what I did was I bought a gift card for him and he paid for the second set with the gift card. So even though he don't have a Costco card, he was able to shop with that gift card and it was just a one time thing, you know, but I put $20 on the gift card and so he got one and I got one. So we gave Ashley hers because I know she says she needs it and you get five. So you get three lemon and two of the green. It's called fresh scent, whatever that is. Um, I got some alkaline water. I'll show y'all. And this is the Kirkland brand alkaline water. I got two of these, but we gave one to Ash. And then I got another paper towel. And that is all. I got to find the rest of my stuff. For real. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. Now I'm getting sleepy. I got all this mess down here. I need to put up. Floors have been haven't been vacuumed, but well not this at night, but they did earlier today. Um, which they could stand to be vacuumed. I need to get I got a carpet cleaner, but um I need to clean it out and I wanted to get one that heats up you know that what is it the pro heat but um, if I do that then I'm gonna give Ashley this one and get the other one because the other one that one is for like carpet carpet I need one that can clean like an area rug you know because um, that one puts out an awful lot of water and I don't want this to get so much water in it that it seeps through to the um the floor, the whatever this laminate floor, but one that can just steam, you know, steam the carpet. Cause I got some uh wood light with a little brush on the head that I can spot clean it with and then suck it up. So that other one is a deep cleaning machine. I don't need to do that. But I know Ashley has the babies at the house and they do have carpet, carpet. So I'm going to give her, I don't know when, but that's, I'm just talking off my head, y'all. It's going to take me some time, um, you know. Trying to save money and all kind of stuff. And I got something that's on my mind I've, I've been trying not to think about. You know, try not to worry about, you know. So I've been trying to keep myself busy. But keeping busy. Um, reading my word and I 
had a conversation with somebody the other night, right? So I was listening to something and they were talking about um, favor. And basically they were saying that favor has to be earned. So y'all put it down below and let me know. If you get to this point, child, I don't talk to y'all for an hour. If you get to this point in the video, put it down below. Um, your description, rightly dividing the word of favor. How do you receive favor? What does favor look like? And do you have to earn favor? You know, all of that. If you get to this point, put it down below. Okay. Yeah. So I had a good conversation the other night. And I love stuff like that. When I'm in when something catches my eye and it's like I gotta dig deeper, you know, I gotta fit I gotta find out. I gotta go and research. And that's how it is supposed to be. You gotta research. You just you gotta dig for the true meaning. So learning to pray and ask God to give me wisdom and help me to comprehend and, un, you know, understand and comprehend. Um, rightly divide, meaning um, understand his word according to what he, his meaning is um, or what it is he want me to know. Because sometimes you could be in a different place in your life and you could read something. It doesn't change what it says, but it can speak to you in a way that will impact your life at that moment you know because not everything in the bible is talking to your specific situation right then <laughs> you know some things are constant but like you if you're not gonna go and read something um dealing with um how do I say that? If you're dealing with uh, faith, um, you're not going to go and research um, marriage. You know what I mean? Unless you're having problems with your marriage and and your faith has weakened, then you know you combine the two. So, um, yeah. You know what? One of these days, I'm going to get up here in the ceiling and I'm going to touch up all them paint mistakes that's in this ceiling. That bothers me. And I, I keep saying, I'm going to get up there and get, I just got to get a can of ceiling, white ceiling paint to touch that up. Because that, it, it looks so tacky to me. And But yeah, it's been like that for a minute. It hadn't bothered me too bad, has it? And like little pieces, like when you have put streamers and stuff up there. I got to get that stuff. That's just careless. I know it. Laziness. I know it. I already know, y'all. I'm going to get myself together. But anyway, one day at a time. Oh, excuse me. One day at a time, y'all. I love y'all to life. Thank y'all for listening. Don't forget to put a little sugar on this thing. What does that mean? Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you see or hear anything uh, throughout this video or our channel that interests you and make you want to come back. And if you choose to do so, go ahead and triple check and make sure you hit that notification bell. And on the notification bell there, you can either turn it off, you can turn it on, or you can hit all notifications. So make sure you hit all notifications, okay? That way, when... Life with Risa. Risa Richardson. When I upload a video, whatever it's pertaining to, if you choose to want to come over and watch, it'll be in your feed. Now, of course, there's nothing perfect in life. The only thing that's perfect is the God that we serve. You can hit, you can do all of that and it's still not show up. So y'all just be on the lookout, okay? I thank y'all for watching. I hope you guys are safe. I hope you guys are, are in good spirits. And I thank y'all so much for all your love, your prayers, and your support. All right? Remember, be intentional about being a blessing because you are a blessing. Go on and share it with somebody. Somebody's waiting on you for their deliverance. Uh-huh. Somebody waiting on you. Yeah, you. 
The one who don't think they matter. You. You have a destiny too. God called you too. You're here. You're alive. Your heart is beating. There's something for you to do. Even though you think you don't have any gifts or talents. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. All right? Bye, guys.